Hey, what's up everybody? Doug here from Breakthrough Guitar. I'm gonna show y'all some cool stuff we can do with the G chord. First, let's make the G chord. All right, middle finger starts off on the third fret of the E string, low E. Index finger goes to second fret on the A string. So we have our root. That's why it's called a G. That's the root, the G. That's a major third. Then we have our open D. That's our perfect fifth. And then we have our open G. So that's an arpeggio. So you can play an arpeggio while holding the G chord. And you got your G major chord. So let's add our ring finger to the third fret of the B string. And our little finger, third fret of the E string. So we're gonna be doubling up that D, perfect fifth, and the octave, the G. So we have the way this chord is constructed, root, major third, that's what makes it a major chord. Perfect fifth, that just adds some color. Octave, the G again. The D on the B string, third fret, add some more color and then the high G. So you can arpeggiate this whole chord. So that's one thing you could start doing, is just one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So any string works. It doesn't matter which order you play it in. And I'm playing in patterns of three. One, two, three, 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 two, three, one, two, three. So we have that. We have our strings skipping. We have arpeggios. We have our strumming. You can mix and match strumming and arpeggios. Two, three, four, E, and one, two, three, four, E, and a one, two, three, four, E, and a. So another thing we could do is pick our fingers up. Let's start by picking our index finger up and then putting it back down. And you can get some really cool you can write a, a really cool lick by playing your index finger and hammering on to the A string. So try that, play the, hold the chord, but only pluck the A string and then hammer on your index finger to the second fret. And now let's add some more strings to the lick. So you're gonna play open A, hammer onto the second fret, then a D. So have fun with that. You can start playing your G chord and start having fun with it by arpeggiating it. And it really works on your right hand coordination. And you can get really cool sounds without even moving your hand around too much. You just change the coloring of the chord. One last, one last thing you could do is move your index finger down to the second fret of the finger, down to the second fret on the D. 
and you're kind of tapping into the pentatonic scale. So put your index finger on the second fret of the D, open D, two on the A, open A, back to the G chord. All right, have fun making your G chords a lot more colorful and interesting, exotic sounding, and you can be more intentional about the sounds that you're trying to get out of your head. All right, if you like tips and tricks like this, make sure to follow and subscribe.